Hello, so today we will be reading Hello Kitty and Friends The Talent Show, book number eight. I don't know if you can hear the uh, wind in the background, but it kind of makes it um, a bit more, uh, you know, autumn-y. So, it says, Hello Kitty and Friends. Hello Kitty School is holding a talent show and the Friendship Club are all excited to show off what they're good at but Tammy's not sure what her talent could be. Can her friends help her figure it out? And as always on the end pages we have Hello Kitty, Minnie, Tammy, Fifi, Dear Daniel, Mama, Papa, Grandpa and Grandma. And we have five chapters this time um, from the usual six chapters. So, chapter one. Bring. <laughs> Hello Kitty rang the doorbell. She waited excitedly as she heard the sound of running footsteps. And then the door was thrown open. Her friends, Fifi, Tammy and dear Daniel stood inside. They were all members of the Friendship Club, which they had started together after they all met at school. They held fun meetings, went on trips, went out together and made the rules, made up rules about friendship. That Saturday, they were having a special friendship club meeting as Fifi's, at Fifi's, sorry. They had decided to hold a toy fashion show. Hello Kitty had a fluffy white bear with her. She could see that all her friends had toys too. Fifi had a tiger, Tammy had a rabbit, and dear Daniel had a zebra. Hello Kitty couldn't wait to get started. They all said hello and hurried upstairs. Fifi made a catwalk for the toys in her bedroom. She had made it out of shoe boxes. Glued together with materials stuck on top. It looked really super. All the toys had come from a special shop where you could buy different clothes to dress your toys in. That sounds fun. The four friends put the outfits they had bought on to Fifi's bed and then they had each selected something for their toy to wear. Dear Daniel wanted stripy, his zebra to wear spotty clothes but it would be a football kit or a karate kit. Karate kit. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I've got that wrong. Or a skateboard kit. He decided on the football kit. Tammy put Floppy, her toy rabbit, into a denim skirt and white t-shirt, while Fifi dressed Tasha the tiger in a purple sparkly ice skating outfit with matching ice skates. Hello Kitty took much longer to decide on what her toy bear, Snowflake. would be wearing. It was so much fun trying out different tops with different skirts, adding scarves and belts and hairbands until the outfit looked perfect, almost like being a real fashion designer. While they were waiting for Hello Kitty, Tammy picked up Floppy and Stripey and started pretending to make them walk, pretending to make them talk in silly voices. She made Stripey ask Floppy for a dance and then made Floppy act as if she was really shy. Fifi, Hello Kitty and Dear Daniel giggled loudly, so Tammy put on the same voice as, the, as their class teacher Miss Davy had. When she got across and told them to settle down, she sounded so much like Miss Davy and they all had giggled even more but hello kitty was finally ready 
Snowflake was wearing a short ruffled red skirt with a white t-shirt and a red and black striped waistcoat. She had a matching red and black headband with a sparkly bow and a little red handbag. She looked super stylish. Tammy remarked how nice Snowflake looked. She wished Floppy looked as good, but she could never work out what clothes went together. Hello Kitty smiled and offered to help her. She loved helping her friends as she swapped Floppy's plain white t-shirt <laughs> for a strappy pale top with a heart on it. <laughs> and then clothes. <laughs> and swapped Floppy's plain white t-shirt for a stripy pale blue top with a heart on it and then chose a navy and pink scarf that she twisted around Floppy's neck. She added a navy belt and shoes and then finished the look off with a blue hair bow. She nodded at Tammy and wondered what she thought now. So these are what the clothing items look like. On each picture. It turned out that Tammy loved Floppy's new look. Hello Kitty was so clever. Fifi and dear Daniel agreed. Hello Kitty felt a little bit embarrassed but very pleased she blushed bright pink. Tammy looked down at her own jeans and plain blue t-shirt and she sighed. She wished Hello Kitty could style her. And then one of her super special Hello Kitty ideas came into Hello Kitty's head. Maybe she could. But before she could say anything, Fifi's mum came into the bedroom. She had just read something very exciting in the new school newsletter. Their school was going to be holding a talent show next weekend to raise money for some play equipment. Any pupil at the school could enter and the winner would get a silver cup. Did they want to go in for it, she asked. The four friends jumped up and in excitement they certainly did. But what could each of them do? School talent show, open for entries now. Watch your talent next weekend. Chapter 2 Decisions, Decision The friendship club sat down together on the floor. The toys fashion show could wait for the moment. Right now they needed to decide what they could all do in the school talent show. Dear Daniel said he would play his guitar. He could play one of the songs he had written. The others thought that was a great idea. Fifi wished she could ice skate in the show. She was really good at skating, but there wasn't an ice. There wasn't an ice rink at school, so she would have to be choosing something else. Hmm. Hello Kitty suggested that Fifi do some gymnastics. Fifi loved that idea. She could wear a sparkly leotard and do a routine to music. But what about Hello Kitty and Tammy? Hello Kitty thought about the things she liked doing. She loved fashion and baking but neither of those things would be right for a talent show act. Tammy had an idea. What if she did singing or dancing? Hello Kitty nodded thoughtfully. She did love both of those things. Maybe she could perform a song by her favourite band, The Fizzy Pops. She would add some dance moves in too. Would Tammy like to join in with her? But Tammy didn't like singing in front of an audience unless she was part of a bigger group of people. She said she would do something else, but she couldn't think what. Everyone thought hard, what could Tammy do? 
she liked reading, making up stories and playing practical jokes. But none of those things could be a talent show act. Dear Daniel suggested she joined in playing a song with him, but Tammy only played the recorder and she didn't think that would sound right with Dear Daniel's guitar. So Fifi asked Tammy to do a gymnastics routine with her. Tammy looked uncertain. She wasn't very good at gymnastics, not like Fifi. Fifi encouraged her and said that she was sure she would be fine, so Tammy tried a cartwheel in the bedroom but it went wrong and she fell in a heap gymnastics so wasn't her talent what could she do they all agreed to keep thinking about it but they would have to think fast because there was only a week to practice their acts hello kitty gasps she had just had a brilliant idea why didn't they all come to her house a sleepover on Friday and do a final practice. It was the night before the contest and she remembered what she had been going to say earlier. She could also do a makeover on Tammy and then if Tammy wanted to. Tammy loved the thought of it and Fifi and dear Daniel were keen to come along and practice for the talent show. It would be a really fun night. Hello Kitty Bean. She would ask her mama if it was okay on the way home. But now, what about the fashion show? It was time for their toys to show off their outfits and dance down the catwalk. Playing fashion shows was great fun and afterwards they ate homemade pizza and ice cream before their parents came to pick them up. Hello Kitty's twin sister Minnie was in the car with Mama. Hello Kitty told them all about the school talent show. Mama said it sounded very exciting and Minnie wanted to enter too. She said she would play her flute with her friend Alice. As soon as they got home, Minnie went to phone Alice and Hello Kitty ran upstairs to listen to some songs by the Fizzy Pops. She had to choose which one she wanted to sing, but it was so hard because she loved all of them. In the end, she narrowed it down to three songs. Here comes the moonlight, missing you, sunshine girl. She practiced them all but couldn't decide which one to pick. In the end, she thought she could ask her friend's advice the next day at school instead of choosing by herself. Mama called her upstairs. It was bedtime for the twins. Hello Kitty got into her pyjamas and snuggled down in bed with one of her favourite magazines. It had an article about doing makeovers. Hello Kitty read eagerly. There was useful advice about what colour clothes went with different hair and skin tones and some good makeup and hair tips and then there were some suggestions for different looks. But Hello Kitty had lots of ideas of her own. She wanted to do a party look and a daytime look for Tammy. She read the final paragraph. Makeovers are great fun, but don't try to change your friends too much. Everyone is different, so remember not to try and make them look just like you or just like a fashion model in a magazine. A makeover should help someone find their own style. You are there to help their inner beauty and shine through. Fashion Forward Magazine Hello Kitty closed the magazine thoughtfully. The article was very true. She didn't want to change Tammy, just help her look her best, the best she could. Excitement fizzed up inside of her as she started sorted planning possible outfits in her head. A makeover and a talent show next weekend? How exciting was that?